In this movie, you learn about adjustment layers. As their name implies, and contrary to absolute layers, adjustment layers are meant for simple changes or simple offsets of body parts. Adjustment layers work in additive mode, in that they do not overwrite previous layers, but simply offset an existing animation. Because of this fact, they are often used to correct limb positioning after you have applied the motion capture file. There are two types of adjustment layers, local and world. The difference between the two is subtle and has to do with how the adjustment layer deals with the limb's pivot point. Most often, you'll find yourself using the world adjustment layers, as it is more predictable and easier to use. In this scene, you have the familiar character you have worked on previously, skinned to a rig that's been adjusted to his body shape. You'll experiment with importing a motion capture file and adjusting the rig to fit the motion. Select the base triangular node and go to the motion panel. In the clip manager, click the browse button, set the filter to bip files and locate and select the islip.bip file you downloaded for this tutorial. Actually, this motion capture file was initially a motion builder fbx file that was converted to a bip file. At this time, CAD doesn't recognize fbx files natively. In the dialog that appears, notice the biped height value. You need to match this value to your rig's height. Go to the front view. From the tools menu, choose Measure Distance. Click a point on the floor between the character's feet and then click another point at the top of its head. Notice the distance specified on the status bar. It should be around 146. Enter 146 at the biped height value and click OK. The capture animation dialog appears and your rig is now retargeted to the motion capture file. Do not dismiss the dialog just yet. Notice that the motion capture file is 132 frames long. Adjust your animation length accordingly. If you wish, you can even set it a bit longer at 150 frames. Scrub the animation. Your character is now animated to walk a few steps and then slip and fall. As you look closely, there are a few discrepancies, such as the feet floating slightly above the ground. The head, neck, and shoulders could also use some adjustments. This is where adjustment layers come into play. At this time, your rig is still dependent on the motion capture file. To make it independent, you first need to bake the motion to the rig. This is done by clicking the Capture Animation button, which essentially bakes the animation by creating keyframes for all bones in the skeleton. If you select any bone in the skeleton at this time, you'll see that it has a keyframe for every frame of the animation. This makes it very hard to edit, but adjustment layers make it easy to offset the animation. In the Motion panel, add a World Adjustment layer. Notice that unlike an absolute layer, this doesn't overwrite or cancel the underlying animation. Enable Auto Key. Make sure you are at frame 0. Select the foot platforms and move them down to the ground level. Again, notice how the change you introduced is only a slight offset of the feet positions. The underlying animation is still intact. Similarly, make small adjustments to the head and chest at frame 0. Make more adjustments at other frames if you need them. Possibly a slight adjustment of the head may be needed around frame 20. Disable Auto Key when done. At this time, the motion capture skeleton that was used for retargeting your rig is still in the scene but is no longer needed. You have already baked the animation to the skeleton and adjusted the animation through the adjustment layer. As you close the capture animation dialog, a warning appears. Click Yes to remove the retargeting mapping information and to get rid of the no longer needed skeleton. You can keep fine-tuning the existing adjustment layer or add more as they all work in an additive, non-destructive way. In the next movie, you will revisit the cat motion layer and learn how to adjust its parameters to alter the dynamics of the motion.